Hi, I'm here with Brandon Kadovic, come second place in Langley's second feature. Brandon, it won an easy one. Nah, that was a little bit of a struggle. The track was really off today for some reason. Everybody was fighting a real tight condition. And then uh, I think we over over loosened it up for the, uh, for the second race there. It's just kind of struggling for our right rear tire off. But uh, second place is definitely a good run for us, and we're uh, definitely getting up there in the past three weeks. So it's been pretty good for us. Yeah, I'm noticing here just in the recent weeks, I mean, getting real racy, getting competitive. How close are you to getting up to the front and fighting with the Fox? I think we're, I think we're right there. If it wasn't uh, for a wreck uh, last week, we got caught up in a, in a lap car. I think we could have had a shot at getting by him there um, for the win. But uh, I think we're right there. We're just fighting a little loose, and uh, see, car was definitely on tonight. Right on. I know it takes a lot of people to get you up here, man. All the racing going on uh, between K and N. East and coming on out here, has that helped you perform a little better? Yeah, def definitely uh, running those bigger tracks, a lot more horsepower, having to work a lot with throttle control and all that. It's, it's definitely been a major difference come out here and just feel like these are a piece of cake compared to those cars and just feel like I've learned so much in just a couple of short months doing that. So it's been great and got a lot of great sponsors, Rackless and uh, Race alert and body by DGM helping us out. So it's been a lot of fun. Brandon Kondovic, second place in the second feature here at Langley Speedway. Hey, I'm here with uh, Casey Wyatt, driver of the number 29. Hey, Casey, uh, a couple third place finishes tonight for you. Got to make you feel good. Yeah, it's been a real tough season. Uh, I think we got like eight or nine DNS this year due to mechanical failures, flat tires. Batteries going bad, alternators going bad, starter going bad, I mean, you name it, it's happened. So uh, to come out on top tonight with two third place finishes is uh, a big boost for our team and uh, shows what this team is really made of and uh, how we persevere. That's true, I got, I've seen it for myself. You know, down in the uh, second race in the very start, you went right after it. You got up underneath Falk and sometimes contact happens. Yeah, well, fortunately, I didn't make any contact with CE. Uh, I don't think the two guys in front of me got their tires very warm in the front. I kind of seen the mist on the track and uh, was really working my front tires. And we, we dove down there and won. And uh, they didn't get their tires good and hot. And they went sliding up the racetrack, crashing into each other. And mine just hooked right around the bottom and uh, seen the hole and took it and shot in there and took the lead there for a few laps. But uh, Steve's car was just so much superior coming off the corner. He just had so much more core bite than we did. We uh, I made some changes on the car after the first race that I really felt confident about going into the second race, but uh, it was kind of a help me in one spot but hurt me in another. The car was really really sideways all the way down the straightaway and getting into the corner, but uh, it did snug me up enough to keep it underneath me going through the center and coming off, so it was a double-edged sword. I can't complain about a third-place finish after the way the car handled the night. And, and compared to some of the other guys out here tonight. So, uh, fortunately, we had a good starting position and uh, started third, got there in the lead for a few laps, and uh, got enough distance on everybody to where I can maintain the third place. Got you, man. I'll tell you what, when you come back out here next week with a couple of third place finishes like this, you know, what's missing? What can Casey Wyatt do to... Yeah, I mean, we... After getting behind C there and riding and, and looking at what my car was doing and what the 46 was doing in front of me, uh, I had two different changes I was going to make. I decided to go with the one and probably should have went with the other. So I think I'm going to come back with the other change we're going to do. And uh, hopefully that will put us on the money where we need to be. But uh, really couldn't do it without these sponsors, man. Uh, if it wasn't for them, uh, we wouldn't be out here every week. I mean, we missed some races last year because due to money issues and uh, – just not having the money, just the money won't there. But uh, Joe's Auto Parts, Boston Electric, Benny, uh, Pizza and Pasta, Wyatt Homes, uh, uh, Forever Green Lawn Care, they came on board with us this year. And uh, I'll tell you, without them, man, we'd be lost right now. So uh, big ups for them and uh, look, look, uh, look forward to their future support. And we'll look forward to seeing you here next Saturday at Langley. Thank you. Hey, I'm with here uh, Craig Edwards. And Greg Edwards, second place in the first race tonight, still looking racy, still the second class of the field, still chasing Falk. Yeah, I mean, we had a we had a pretty decent car. I mean, uh, both the Falks are actually really fast today. I just, uh, you know, CE just, he was getting off the corner a little better than I was. I, I was good, but I got free at the end. But, uh, 
you know, I thought we had made adjustment for the second half. We, we might be good, but I mean, right now he's just on. I mean, there's nothing I can say. I mean, he's just, he's hitting it right now. He's rolling, and uh, you know, it's our turn to try to catch him. Right on. The second race there, Greg, misfortunes hit you. Really, it's the first time this season, but it couldn't come at a worse time. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, what do you say? We, we crashed, and we kind of got crashed. I, I don't, you know, I know the crew kind of sees it a little different, but you know, I, for whatever reason, his car didn't turn when he went down to turn one. So, uh, you know, it's probably most likely, you know, cold front tires. He didn't get his front tires heated up or something. But, you know, the end result was, you know, we got doored really hard and got up to the wall and uh, got up in the stage drive, fell all the way back to the back, and the very next time around, they all piled up. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm not the one that always wants to place the blame for every little thing. I mean, we're racing, and these cars are fast, and uh, accidents happen. Yeah, there's no doubt this is a strong team. I know you guys will be back. Um, you know, got a week to do it, a week to think about it, and uh, a week to go back after it. So we're going to see you back here at Langley. I'm sure there's some people you want to thank. Oh, yeah. i got to thank all the guys at Browers Mechanical. i got to thank James Long for letting me drive his car. Charlie High for building great uh, race engines. They're just they're phenomenal. Uh, all my guys that work so hard. And, you know, I kind of feel bad because I'm going to put them through a harder week this week, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, they love it. They work hard. And we're going to keep digging. Hopefully come back and get a W next week. We got you there. And have a great week in the workshop there, Greg. All right. Thank you. Hey, I'm with uh, C.E. Falk, winner of uh, Twin 50s here tonight at Langley Speedway. Man, that's race. Race wins number 10, number 11. Yeah, you know, it was a great night for you at Motor Sports. Uh, what's the guy on the pole? Um, so it was a little bit of a different situation being behind the 41 car. But uh, he had a really good car. She and my motor took a, took a hit on him. But uh, we had a great 40 car. Like we've had uh, past uh, eight of them now, I guess, uh, all in a row. But, um, you know, it's just uh, he's got a great facility and had a really good car. Just hopefully we keep it hooked up. Yeah, uh, Greg Edwards had some misfortunes tonight in the second race, and uh, lap one didn't go down, kind of the way things are y'all are accustomed to. But uh, yeah, yeah, uh, lap one there, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I, I, I you know, the easy way I'd be cold tires, I guess. But I don't know. I felt like I had them one those best I could, and they worked really good in three and four. So. Uh, I don't know if something was on the racetrack or what, but the car just, it just took off straight. It's never, I've been racing here for four years in a row and it's never done that, you know. Um, yeah, usually you bust the tires and you know, get sideways before you go lose the front end like that. So, um, I really feel bad for Greg because, uh, I really want to, want to race for this championship, you know, the right way and, um, just, you know, just going to have to take some of this fortune to happen and, um, unfortunately he got part of it, you know, maybe we'll have some of our own luck, bad luck too, but, um, all we can do is uh, what we can control, and that's uh, make sure the race car is prepared every week and uh, uh, put on a good show for the fans. Yeah, no doubt. Still, nothing changes for you, CE. I'm sure that you got to have a good week in the race shop. Um, that, that points title, it's in sight, but uh, you can't get too comfortable. No, no, you got four races left, so anything can happen. Um, especially got King Philip coming next week. He's gonna be hungry for getting one win. Um, so we're going to be on our toes, but, um, you know, hopefully uh, we'll have a good week, and uh, we got a lot of work to do, but uh, ain't nothing to stop this before, so uh, we'll see you all next time. C.E. Falk, winner of the Twin uh, 50s tonight here at uh, Langley Speedway.